Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, I want to talk a little bit how to create some textures uh, uh, in SketchUp uh, in particular. And uh, you can see I want to put a texture on it. So I got this glass material. I know I'm going to put it in Unity. With uh, in Unity, I'm not going to be able to add, uh, do a UV map. I need to actually add a separate object, which is what I'm going to do. So, uh, <clears throat> so basically, let's just take a look at, here's our candle. By the way, I've been digging this ambient shader uh, uh, property, the ambient shader uh, new rendering system because it just it gives me a chance to really kind of get, get a good look at how things are working. So, and when I'm designing it, I get a, a lot better feel for how things look because in SketchUp with the lines and everything, it just proportions aren't always correct. So anyway, so let's uh, exit out of that. Okay, so uh, let's get started. First, I'm going to actually, I need to put the label on front of here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to just take this box, push pull it up here, something like this. Take this and just delete all these things here. And let's take that. And I'm going to make, I'm going to make this material, this transparent material. Now why I'm doing that is because I want to draw the label on front of this. So if I didn't have this, I, well, I'll show you what, what would happen if I don't have this. So let's, let's go, uh, into the front view and I'm gonna uh, cut this out and I'm gonna start drawing the label which may look something like this right so I'm, you know so you, you can see that uh, my label may be straight it may not be that it really you know I don't even know if it's if it's the right plane or not so I want to actually be able to build that thing in the right plane so let's go back in uh, paste this in here also notice I can't I can't do it in, even if I, uh, if I if I was to make this a solid color let's see like this uh, let's go to the front view and and let's go to this this uh, now I've gotten to the X-ray mode right so you can see that right up here it's in the X-ray mode so if I start trying to draw the label now right so you'll see that. I'm still not drawing on this plane. This doesn't work. So if you want to draw in front of something, right, uh, what you want to do is give it that transparent color. This is under class of mirrors. Just give it a transparent color. Now we'll go to the front view again. Um, here, just did the switch. And now I'm going to turn on the hidden lines. Now I can start to draw. So I'm going to basically go in here and I say, I know that that, that uh, I know that was somewhere around, oh, somewhere in the middle here. So, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually import that file first. So let's go say file, and I'm going to say, if I want to see exactly what that looks like, I'll say import, and under here, I'm going to say an image, not texture, but an image. I'm going to choose the label, and I'm going to go to the front, uh, front view, and I'm going to stick it on here somehow, like... Uh, here and then maybe about there okay so let's move it down a little bit maybe right right around there okay so that looks that looks pretty good the uh, problem is is that when I project this across this surface it's going to get longer so what I really want to do is I want to say I want to hit the T button or scale button and I'm going to hold the uh, uh, control key and I'm going to just make it a little bit narrower right just like that so there we have it okay so uh, I've got this in here I've imported it I've, I've laid it in there I'm going to go in the front view and we'll now see that it is exactly uh, exactly uh, where I want it I shrunk it a little bit and uh, so now I need uh, I'm going to take this and I am going to uh, extrude this. Actually, what I'm going to first do is I'm going to delete, delete this surface behind it. The blue surface I no longer need. Uh, okay. And now if I look at this, uh, notice I've got these corners in here. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go in and use my arc key. I'm going to set it to, what, three sides. Okay, we explode this first, and I go to my arc tool, and I'm going to do this, and then just basically what I'm doing here is 
is I'm just trimming it to the label like that so that looks pretty good now when that's done uh, now I want to intersect it with this so this is the material right here uh, I'm going to copy that and come back out and uh, hide hide the whole candle and paste it in place and I'm going to take this and say push pull and move that all the way through right and so I can select this select actually I can select this and say intersect faces with uh, model and it just deleted it and I come in here and delete this and now I've got this surface so I don't want the other anything else so I'll take this cut it delete everything and paste it in there so now I've got my label now my label if I if I unhide my candle I'm gonna actually there there's there's gonna be a problem with it uh, not seeing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna T move on the green axis out and 0 0.01 just a little bit so now it's out in front of the, the the object just a tad okay so now we're ready to go so this should come in uh, as you look under uh, texture it should come in as projected when it comes in as that when you import it that way if it's not make sure projected selected okay then you just basically come over here click on this grab the the paint bucket hold the uh, alt key down to get the eyedropper click on this click on there and Bob's your uncle I, now I don't need this anymore I can delete that and you can see that you know even we do our render here you can see how nice that turned out so anyway that's the uh, that's a quick tutorial on applying some kind of labels to uh, uh, different models in SketchUp hope you enjoyed it thanks bye